Today, many of us regularly use and benefit from products which use technologies that seemed impossible a few decades before. We enjoy communications, devices and appliances that were only the dreams of science fiction previously and for many of us within our own lifetime. There have been developments and advances in electronics, semiconductors, optics, biotechnology, pharmacy, medical devices and healthcare to name a few. Most of these high-tech improvements were helped by a revolution in manufacturing miniaturization during the 20th century and earlier. However, there is a challenge to overcome when making small precision parts and mechanisms. Micro-contamination. Small pieces of dust and dirt that had not been an issue in larger scale production were now responsible for unpredictable and poor manufacturing results in small scale operations. Perhaps the watchmaking industry was the first to encounter the problems of micro-contamination. Attempts at production automation were hampered by dust settling on components during assembly. Simple steps to reduce the amount of dust in special assembly areas resolved the issue and were an early example of contamination control practices. Various industries such as telecommunications, the military, hospitals, nuclear weapons and the space program confronted the same issue of micro-contamination. For example, early space rockets often exploded soon after launch. The problem was traced to liquid oxygen fuel valves with such fine tolerances that they were jammed by particles only one hundredth of the diameter of an average human hair. Individually, many industries tackled the problems of microcontaminants by developing cleaner manufacturing environments. Air filtration, conditioning and flow paths helped greatly, as well as special employee clothing and behavior rules. The materials used to construct these environments and their cleaning played an important part also. Gradually, these contamination control technologies came together across industry to form the prototype of modern clean rooms, originally called white rooms. Standards to specify and classify the building and maintenance of these clean rooms were necessary. This ensured consistency and quality. All of these developments have allowed us to enjoy new and exciting technologies that depend on precision components and materials. Contamination control practices are crucial to the safety and reliability of many products and it's important for people who enter clean rooms to understand why and how they work.